Uh, and so now it's time for a Chilling with Gildan part, a new one, where I brought in a special guest. I wasn't sure if this was going to take, like, any time soon, but lo and behold, it did. And so, uh, I, you, you know him, you love him, I'm, I gotta introduce him, my, my buddy. Hey, it's me, Owl Flame, that guy <laughs> whose YouTube channel died years ago. And yet he's still on my channel. Man, we really need I to do. get back to Silent Hill 4 at some point. We do. That game, that game I, ended. I am not <laughs> mentally ready for it. I gotta be honest. We're, but I, I, I say we, I say we watch a speed run and, and do what they do until they get until they get to where we are. Uh, it's not even that. It's just uh, so you know how you get into situations where you have to use the candles in order to purify like Eileen or the room. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of those. All right, but here's here's my counterpoint, and you and hear me out on this one. Okay. Fuck Eileen. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Are you talking about literally or uh, metaphorically? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. I've smelled her panty drawer. We're good. Dude, how are we? How? I mean, we can't drill to the other side through the stove. I've tried. Not with just... that attitude. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways, so I don't know if you know how this works, but, uh... I, I don't. I'm okay. new. So we're I, just... I was just lowered into this yeah, in a shark yeah. tank. I, I offered you some candy, you hopped into my van, things started happening. Next thing you know, you're I'm still you're waiting for that jail. candy. Oh, well, uh, I'm you know... Still I'm well, still you... desperately waiting for that candy. Oh, don't worry about it. Just, uh, give me, like, five seconds. I'll go ask my parents if I can use the internet to order some candy. Uh, oh, sweet, sadly, thanks, I don't have a card, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. They kind of don't want me to use the internet. Oh, oh no! <laughs> my, I don't, my parents I, grounded me. You sure have? You sure have a? You, wait, what? <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Mommy and Daddy are mad at me right now. I don't know why. Aren't did. you an adult? Yeah. Aren't you an adult with an adult life? Yeah, but Mommy sort and Daddy of. are mad at me right now. They're really mad at me. I don't want to just talk about what happened. It involved like a bank and a gun and a mask. And then I was also there. Yeah, and uh, you know, some music came up and it said, you'll never see it coming. You'll never see it coming. <laughs> uh, out of out of curiosity, since you've been playing Persona 5, yeah, how you, stuck you, in your head you, is like, that? What? How, how stuck in your head is you'll never see it coming? Not very, but then again, I ordered the OST because I felt like it. Mm, so, I didn't buy the whole OST. I just bought the three songs I like. I, I bought a physical copy. Oh, shit. Yeah. I, d I didn't know they made physical copies. They, they totally, one of those. You can get them on Amazon. You can, you can go to the Amazon, Amazon, be like, yo, Persona 5 OST, bitch. And lo and behold, it'll be right there. <laughs> and then, and then, just like Siri, Amazon just writes back, just like, don't call me a bitch, but here it is, I guess. <laughs> Siri, why you gotta be like that, bitch? Bitch. Bitch. Like, I cannot. I can't answer that. I'm not a search engine. I just, I just bring you items you want. And sometimes recommend items you didn't know you want. And that's usually how you end up with 34 individual amiibos upstairs in your room. And an owl statue. You. And an owl statue. I have a lot of owl shit in my room. I mean, uh, you, you gotta collect that because you're working towards the Chivo. I really like owls. I don't know if anyone knows this about me. Uh, I well, I mean, owl. based on based on your your channel picture and your name, I mean, could have fooled me. I still I still get people who I get into mild arguments with on YouTube, and then they respond to me saying, "Your opinion is invalid. Your picture is a Pokemon." A Noctowl. A Noctowl, specifically. The Ancient of Ancient Pokemon. I, I got a question. Go for it. So you played the recent generation of Pokemon. How do you feel I about did. Rowlet and that evolution in comparison to Noctowl? So, I actually have a weird problem with Rowlet. I mean, evolutionary line, because okay. you know that I love Rowlet. You know that I love the shit out of Rowlet. Well, it's an owl Rowlet, for one. Rowlet, Rowlet 2 is like emo, emo owl thing. Uh, Evolution 3 hardly looks like an owl to me. It's an archer. It's just a dude in a Robin Hood 
quills f- get, uh what cloak. what's it called plumage cloak plumage cloak yeah plumage. a cloak 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 plumage yeah and yeah. like with bow and arrow and i'm just like you're not an owl anymore you're a lie you're you're an owl you got an owl mask it's the big it's the big reason after i saw the evolutionary line i refused to i refused to beat the elite four uh with an evolved rowlet so i oh, beat the elite no. four with rowlet you can do that i mean what am i yeah, talking about you can I, beat the elite four with eradicate if you really want you can beat the uh, elite four with a rad tata 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 rad tata tata yeah yeah i saw someone do that with a level one rad tata <laughs> it was pretty legit oddly enough it's it's also really weird. Out of curiosity, have you seen anyone do the whole Elite Four with it, or just the first fight? Because uh, I imagine well, uh, I imagine the Ratata strategy breaks down when you get to the Ghost person. Actually, I take it back. It was uh, it was the champion. That's right. Oh, yeah. There you go. I believe you can beat the champion with it. Yeah. Uh, also, okay. I think I think they found a way around like the the Ghost person because uh, I mean Ratata. Tata, tata, tata. Whatever. It has, like, you know, moves that aren't, but level one, I mean, oof. Uh, you know, now I'm curious. Can someone make that happen? Has it happened? Will it happen? I'm, sh- I'm sure it's out there somewhere. Maybe. Very similar to how every time I beat a game, I then go see if there are any speedruns of said game that I, I just don't. took this that I just took forever to beat. I just, just like seeing I just like seeing how fast is the game I just took forever to beat getting beat by people who do this for a living. Oh, uh, I wonder how much that pays. Uh, speedrunning? Yeah. If you if you get popular on Twitch, I imagine I imagine you can make a good amount of money. Well, if you like get popular on Twitch, I mean you can just be a streamer. Yeah. I'm living the dream. Plus, like, I don't, I don't see speedrunning as like a career. Mostly, I see it as like a hobby. I, 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 when I delved into speedrunning for like the three weeks I enjoyed that, uh, I, I just was like, oh yeah, this is fun. This is a nice thing to do that doesn't involve like fighting other people. I, I have a question. Okay. Did you, uh, did you ever speedrun Lisa the Painful RPG? Uh, I meant to give that a shot, but. Then I learned that actual speedruns exist of the game, and I'm just like, oh, I, 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 I mean, I'm still gonna try to route a speedrun for it the same way I want to route a, um, uh, one cycle for Majora's Mask someday. Really? But yeah, I, I, I thought I heard someone say that that's an actual challenge you can do. You mean Obviously, like, it's gonna use glitches. One cycle, so uh, like from start to finish. Uh, well, except <laughs> maybe like the 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 first cycle. Yeah, uh, not including the first cycle where you basically can't do anything. You can still do lots of stuff in there, but nothing you're, you're important. Kinda, yeah, you're kind of limited to the the first. So, so I I consider it from the moment you can go into dungeons to um to every point afterwards. I'm curious. I mean, you I feel like one you're right exploits, but two like you gotta know the game inside and out. Like you got I you gotta I have glitches. been I have been mentally putting that route together in my head forever. Yeah, that, you're a braver man than I, and uh, I I 100 percent I yeah, I 100 percented Majora's Mask. I got like everything that you can get, but at the same time, well, I mean, I mean the route the route in my head like makes relative sense. Uh, mostly mostly in the in the way that um, I I there's there's things you have to account for. There's there's stuff you can do without Epona, but at some point you're gonna need Epona to get the Gibdo mask and you gotta you gotta figure out what you need when and you gotta figure out how to make that happen. And I feel like I know how to make a lot of that happen. I just don't know how to do it in the right order so that I can get everything I need to happen uh, to happen in one cycle. I, I got a question now, a follow up question. Uh, okay. If you were to jolt this down on paper, do you think that would help? Uh I imagine it could because definitely the first time I was going through the route in my head, uh, I made it. I I managed to make it so. Yeah, I can definitely get to Majora's Mask. If, uh, I can definitely get to the Majora fight if I book it. Uh, but then I realized, wait, hold on, I skipped a step. What about Epona? So I imagine I imagine it'd help to route it, route like everything you need to do, and then figure out what you can supersede with whatever you need because mm-hmm. you can get to great but you can get to great bay without um without bombs i was gonna say can you, you can, get there without i mean i mean Epona? you can get 
you, you can get there without a Pona. You can oh, okay. you can even you could do it almost exclusively with the Goron mask and a bomb. Uh, well. It's really it's really easy. Lay down a bomb, uh, jump up with the Goron. The bomb shoots you over the over the wall. Huh? I've done it. It's super easy. It's way <laughs> easier than it sounds. The biggest thing that I'd have to start using a lot of is the um the bomb the bomb hovers, which is if you if you stab your sword at the same moment you you interact with something with the A button, your sword never stops slashing and you can't fall off anything when your sword is slashing. So what you can do is um you, you can throw down a bomb and then you can jump up and then block it and you once you've blocked that bomb, uh the game thinks you're you're on the ground and even though you're in the air and it can't knock you off of anything because you're in the air and slashing. So you just keep you uh, keep rolling up like that, and that should get you to Kana Canyon. Oh, interesting. You can go everywhere, supposedly, without Epona. I'm trying to route for Epona and the Gibdo Mask. I'll take it out if I desperately need to, because I'm really bad at that particular glitch. I mean, I'm, I'm a little flabbergasted, because, I mean, it, it sounds like... You, you have a good understanding of these glitches, where, like, it never even crossed my mind. I know I didn't even know that was a thing you could do. It is. It's super cool. I mean, they do, it, uh, if you if you watch a lot of um, N64 Zelda speedruns, they do it all the time. And the first time you see it, you're just gonna get really confused. <laughs> so aside aside from Majora's Mask, I mean, uh, I, I do have a question related. Uh, which do you prefer, the N64 version or the 3DS? Uh, I believe I've said before that I think the 3DS version is technically better. It yeah. does a lot of thing. It does a lot of things that I considered uh, to be fixes of problems that I had with the original Majora's Mask. The save points are very helpful, uh, rather than just being weird save states. I guess. Yeah. They were. It was weird that saving uh, was only go back in time or, or go to the main menu and we can boot you back here if you want. Yeah. I didn't like that. I also didn't like that Majora's Mask was a two-file system. I don't know why. I always I always have a problem with with games that give you limited file systems and Ocarina of Time was a three-file, right? Yeah. Yeah, Majora's Mask was just two if I remember correctly, and I didn't like that. So it was nice that they gave you three again. I'd like it if they could stop giving you three or two. I, I have I have one compliment and one complaint, and I think you'll agree with me on these. Uh, I never agree with anyone. Oh, the okay. ones wrong. All right. Well, All right, then allow joking. me allow me to like pose them. Allow me to okay. say them. Okay. All right. So my compliment is that I liked when you used uh, I forget what it is. This the song where you would advance time. I liked how uh, unlike the N64 where it would advance time like by, by half a day in. The 3DS version, you could actually choose what hour you'd want to jump to. Yeah, I do appreciate that. That's and very it, nice. And it made doing side quests a lot more easier and more compliant. It was nice. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, but my complaint is the Zora mask, mainly when you're swimming. Yeah, you can't... Swimming, swimming was made more difficult because the max speed of the Zora in N64 is now only attainable if you spend magic. Yeah. And it's bullshit. And I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. As someone who's played Majora's Mask as much as I have, mm -hmm. Majora's Mask already already wants you to use magic in a ton of other places. Oh yeah. But I mean, it, it's just really annoying because you're a Zora, and like in the N64, it was. I, I found it really fun, just like you know, speeding through in water, just like yeah, swimming all over the place, just zipping and zapping here and there. It was. It was fun, you know. But like super in the fun. in the 3DS. You have to spend magic because they combined it with like the electric barrier, and it's like, yeah, I get the electric barrier is kind of like your only method of offense when you're swimming that fast, but it's not fun when your only method of like swimming swimming really fast in the water, which mind you, uh, you, you go quite a long distance from like various places in Great Bay Temple, or I was gonna say Great Bay Temple, but just Great Bay. Like, you have the Pyrus Fortress you have to go to, you have, like, uh, Zora's Domain, or whatever it was called. Yeah. You have the, you have, like, the observatory, well, not the observatory, the laboratory. And it's like, uh, you know, these are places where you kind of have to just, like, travel to. I don't think there was any sort of, there was a, 
I don't think there was any warp point or anything along those lines. So it, it was wait a warp a warp point to where? Like any of those three locations except for like the laboratory, or maybe laboratory. The laboratory had a warp point. Yeah. Sora's domain has always had a warp point. Okay, then the pirate fortress. The pirate fortress has never had a warp point. Yeah. And that always bothered me. And uh, it, I don't know. In the N64 version, it wasn't that big of a deal because I mean, you know, uh, you could just swim dash to. But like the 3DS, it took forever, unless you're willing to splurge on the magic. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's kind of a minor complaint because it's it's not like a huge, like game breaking feature. It's just really annoying. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, and so that that that's like, why why can't I do that? The only option I have here is to get that one milk that like basically gives you infinite magic. Yep. And like, you're already probably traveling everywhere by Goron anyway, which eats magic on its own. Yeah. Unfortunately, I always I always wish that there was a way to do max speed Goron rolling because whenever you don't have magic, the Goron doesn't take any time to build up speed. He just goes. Yeah. At like a, at like a really good speed. I, I'm fine with that, and I mean like even his regular rolling thing without the magic, like it, it's easier to control. Yeah, yeah. With magic, I mean it's like uh, it, it goes fast, but you can't really control it. I got a question: Why does the Goron have spikes just randomly? Where do they come from? I think I think in the 3DS they wanted to make it pretty clear that that the magic you were imbuing with your everything was adding a certain oh, okay. feature to what you were doing. Because you'll notice you'll notice that um in the 3DS version when you do like the Deku spin, uh they made it so that his hat grows spikes too. Really, uh, that's a detail I'd never really noticed. But then again, it's been a while, so I, I don't know. I'll take your word for it though. Because, like, it, they wanted to make it look like Link was doing something special whenever he did an action. Well, Link is special. Link's pretty gosh darn special. He's always been special. He's, He's got the, the hero creamiest time. hand strings. Well, that, that hero, well, that Link, that depiction of Link, that's the hero time. But he's like, I don't know, the holder of the Triforce of Courage. Except yeah. in the Wind Waker, where he has to obtain all the pieces in order to do that. Yeah, which doesn't really make sense. Well, I mean, um... I always, I never thought of the Triforce as being, like, something you gotta go put together. Like, like the, like the, uh... Nah, bro, think about it. Ganon and Zelda, they had to do it all the same. Especially like, Zelda. They showed that in that cutscene. That was stupid. <laughs> I like how the king, <laughs> I like how the king, he just happened to have this one piece. So what, if you... If Tetra never met him, she'd never be able to become Zelda. I mean, don't get me wrong, in the original Zelda, uh, in the original Zelda, and I want to say maybe Zelda 2, but I didn't play that much of Zelda 2. Oh, yeah. The Triforce, the Triforce was a physical object in that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was. And, and don't get me wrong, it, it's still a physical object, but, like... It's always been the a physical way it, object. Yeah, but, like, the way it works is, like, it's a, it's, it has a chosen wielder, and only when the three wielders come together will it will it manifest to give to grant a wish. Oddly enough, we in a link to the past, it's just there. It's just there now. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. I mean it's not like it's not like they had any emphasis on Zelda being wisdom, Ganon being power, and Link being courage. It's just it's just a tangible item that Ganon gets a hold of. Or I yeah, guess Agnum, like an asshole. Well, I, I guess Agnum, but, you know, Agnum's kind of a puppet of Ganon, so, uh... Through Agnum, Ganon was able to create the Dark World, or something. Yep. But all Not, that... Wait, he created the Dark World? Well, I mean, wasn't it that, like... I thought he accessed the Dark World. Well, I thought, like, the Dark World was, uh, like, born from his desires. I thought the Dark World already existed, I'm, and I'm, he and he and he just manifested from it. I was just, I don't. Now I'm confused. I, th I thought it was like you know his twisted desires realized like it's, it's the high rule he wanted, but not the high rule it deserves. <laughs> but then low, and then you go to what is it? Uh, can't remember. The the one with low rules, like the sequel to a Link to the Past, a Link Between Worlds. 
Uh, apparently, yeah. low world was like a thing that already existed, and that confused me because it's basically the dark world without being the dark world. Yeah. And it's like, but it's pretty much the dark world. How does this even begin to make sense? I don't entirely know. I don't think anyone does. And then, of course, you have, like, the mirrored versions of, like, Ganon, Zelda, and Link. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't understand... Wait, we saw mirrored Ganon? Well, I mean, I don't know, like, the low-world versions of those guys. Yeah, but I didn't... I don't remember seeing Ganon. No, it's Yuga. I thought there was just the one Ganon. Whatever Ganon's his name is. Yeah. Hyuga? Hyuga's Ganon? Oh my god, I, mean, I didn't know that. he pretty much is, like, the low world Ganon, or that's what I kind of came up with. I feel like I've been nah, oblivious man, I'm just, I'm all my life. I'm just too observant. I just, I just realized I don't... I don't play uh, the 2D I mean, Zeldas that often. I don't think you're missing a whole lot. I, I could be wrong. Maybe I have it backwards, you know? Maybe I should be bitch slapped for my uh, heresy of the Zelda franchise. Because uh, apparently I don't Zelda. But I, I was going to say, like, I, I don't think you're missing a whole lot. I mean, like, some are, like, generally really good. Others are just kind of like, eh. Yeah. Yeah. But then you got Breath of the Wild, which came out. Oh my god, Breath of yeah, the Wild bruh. was so good. I saw it to beat it. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Uh, as soon as I get my Wii U back from my friend who I let borrow wait, wait, my wait, wait. Breath of the you Wild You don't from, have a Switch? What's uh, wrong with you, bro? Like, dude, how could you not have a Switch? It's only the latest console from Nintendo. Yeah, but I, I really like my PS4. <laughs> I gotta be honest. I've never, a, I've never had a. I've never. I'm not gonna lie. I um, I've never. I've never. Okay, so after after the 360 era, everything I played was basically on PC. So and my PC is old now. And, like and I have to play it, things on more graphical like, settings. These games PC. are getting prettier. And after after I after I booted up um after I got a PS4 for uh, graduation, I gotta say like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> things are pretty. I forgot games and were this that's pretty. That's how Daniel got acclimatized to the new generation. It's like, like um I I told you that um I decided to boot up Resident Evil Seven B A A because I've never really played Resident Evil. B because I saw a sequence in in Resident Evil Seven because that I, I won't name it. to spoil anything, but like and I gotta play it because you haven't played it. But I saw a I saw a small clip of like a thing happening that I'm just like, oh that's goofy, I want that. And then I pull and then I boot it up and I'm just like, holy shit! This, oh yeah, this is a gorgeous demo, game. So I, I know a little bit, but at the same time, it's like Gildam, you're you're like a Resident Evil fanatic. Now you're a hack. How could you not play the Resident Evil Seven? It's the best. No, I didn't, I'm, I'm, I'm I didn't talking call about you a hack. I expect That's you'll pick it up at some point. I, I kind of, I kind of thought I mean, you'd I already played, played it. I was thinking about doing it, and then I had a friend, and I was like, "Yo, you you want to play some spook games for like the channel?" And they were like, "Yeah." And so I was kind of like hesitant about playing Resident Evil Seven because I was like, "Well, what if, what if we end up doing this?" And I was like, "Yeah, I could do a double blind." That was that was my choice, but then uh, they chose the Evil Within. So, uh, I'm not, that's on my channel now. So, it's kind of like, I guess I could, like, boot up Resident Evil 7, but I'm playing Persona 5. And it's kind of one of those really difficult situations where it's like, yeah, I, c I could probably do Resident Evil 7, but it's like, kind of really want to focus on one thing at a time, you know? I kind of have the tra Crash Bandicoot trilogy going on here, and it's like, I kind of want to do that. I kind of have some Stardew Valley. kind of want to do that. Yeah, it, it, it's it's one of those yeah. things when you got a lot on your plate and yet you're just like, motivation is really tough. I mean, granted, there's Persona 5, so, you know, I, I'm, I've been sticking with that. 
Hey, I'm hey, I'm just I'm just I'm just happy you got to that. I haven't Dude, you stuck I, with I, it longer like, than I okay. thought you would. So like I mentioned this beforehand. I thought I thought you were gonna yeah, drop I mentioned the game this beforehand a while on ago. like uh, I think it was one of my rambling videos where it's like you're like, bro, you gotta play Persona Five. I was like, I'll get to it eventually, and you're like, no, nah, bro, you gotta play. And I was like, I'll I'll, I'll do it eventually. And so like you know, uh, some time passed, and you're like, bro, man, Persona Five. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's pretty legit. And uh, <laughs> You're like, have you played it? I was like, nah, I'm, I'm playing Stardew Valley. I, I really like Stardew Valley. I'm, I'm kind of addicted. And you're like, bro, man, when you play Persona 5, it'll change your life. I didn't say that, but I do believe I said something along the lines of, if you just give it five minutes, I'm it sure it'll entice you to life. keep playing. I, no, I'm no. Good. I, I gotta, I gotta waiting be for a goddamn um, life changer. I, I have nothing negative to say about Persona Five. Uh, the only thing I can really say that comes close. I have some things. I mean, I have some things. A, I have as a whole, a lot of let things. me let me rephrase that. As a whole, I, I have nothing really negative to say about okay. Persona Five. All right. The only thing that kind of comes close to it is uh, it reminds me a lot of Persona Three. But I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing because I, I really like Persona 3. Uh, I, sadly, I think hey. Persona 3 is is slightly better than Persona 5, but in terms of like actually being a game, Persona 5 is far superior. Like, I, I think if they were to remake Persona 3, I mean, uh, I feel like it, it would be Persona 5 with a lot more polish. If they if they if they remake Persona 3, I'd want them to fill yeah. days better. Because you know that one of the reasons I stopped being so stoked to play Persona 3 was because... Well, I, I mean, like, it, it's really bored. Like, Persona Persona 4 I stopped playing because Persona 4 bro, did a lot bro. of things that straight I, I... up bothered me. Persona 3 didn't... Pers Persona 3 didn't do anything to bother me. Persona 3, I'm just like, I want something to happen and nothing's uh, happening. I mean, like, I think... I think I kind of like how it's, it's a little bit more slower paced. There's been times when I've been playing Persona 5, and I was like, whoa, 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 slow down, slow I can't do that much! <laughs> I don't know, I I'm kind of weird like that. Sometimes I need I need things to just take a step back so I can just kind of concentrate a little bit better, because uh, I, I have issues like that sometimes when I play games. Like, uh, yeah, I the nearest one I can think of is like going from Harvest Moon to uh, Stardew Valley. And the difference is, like, time continuously moves in Stardew Valley, like like it would in real life. Like, you can't go into a building like you can in Harvest Moon and everything just kind of holds up for a second. Like, like for some reason, I don't know why, but time stops when you go into a building in Harvest Moon or, like, Room Factory, and so you can kind of take your sweet-ass time just doing whatever, talking to everybody, giving them gifts and whatnot. In Stardew Valley, it's like, no, man, you gotta, you gotta go. You gotta, like, we got things to do, okay? You gotta go manage your farm. You gotta go see the town people. You gotta go meet up with your base so you can be like, I love you. And then, you know, she can, like, probably slap you in the face because she doesn't have the affection level for that. And, it, and it's like, I don't know, everything's kind of moving really quick. But then you kind of adjust to it, so, uh, I, I really don't know what the complaint here is. I... I pers I personally I personally appreciate I mean, that I it stays active. I think that helps with a lot of uh, a lot of I, people, especially anybody who's kind of new to the series. And it's like, oh, Persona Five. I, I heard that was good. You know, I, I hear. I feel like that would kind of help people kind of get more into the groove of things. Because I'd say that a lack of feeling, a lack of being active, is something that I'm. I I noticed in three and four. Four, four was relatively active, but you'd still have long periods of time where it's just like I don't, I don't feel like anything that's going on I in this period like of time matters. Can kind of be applied to anime in general. <laughs> oh, no, I mean Thanks, I like anime. it, you know, but I feel like some people. Nah, I don't like anime. Now. <laughs> I, I'm You're just right. saying, anime I feel like sucks. some people find anime is just too slow paced at times. I mean, granted, then you got like the. Uh, the really popular stuff like Dragon Ball Z that's action a lot, and then you got some slow parts, and it's like, come on, man, where's the fights? I want to see Raditz getting punched in the face again. To which I say, no. No. I do I, like seeing listen, that. Listen, I watched Dragon Ball Z when it was on Cartoon Network, and every time I watched it, it was bullshit, because apparently the whole thing tells me that Raditz is the strongest character in the entire show. Because he never dies. He just keeps coming back randomly. 
You know, you, you get things are going on, your Comes game's back. a plan dynamic, <laughs> then all of a sudden it's back to red. It's oh man, guy used the whatever piccolo spiral drill beam or whatever, and then he does it, and so Goku dies, and he's on Snake Way, and everything starts building up, and it's great, and they get to Frieza. No way, I take that back. Frieza's not. Frieza's introduced. But then, of course, you got Zarbon and Dodora, and they gotta fight those guys. And then it goes back to Raditz, and it just keeps going in a vicious cycle where it's like they introduce a new villain, and you're like, oh man, I can't wait to see what that guy does. But before you can see it. I yeah, can't wait to watch them Raditz, fight Raditz. Raditz. I'm convinced Raditz is the strongest villain of DBZ, according to Cartoon Network. You're right. He's he just never dies. He has weird reviving powers. I'm 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 convinced that that is Raditz in a nutshell. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> reviving powers. Weird reviving powers. You know, I, I don't know. Maybe Raditz is uh, he's a uh, necromancer. I mean, it could just be me. I don't, I didn't think Saiyans had that kind of ability, but apparently they do. They not only yeah. do, but they have it. Right so, what now. is that thing about Goku? <laughs> he's an, he's a loser. He's a chump. <laughs> uh, well, either way you look at it, uh, at least you have a full colorful cast of other side characters like Piccolo. He's my favorite. Dude, Piccolo is the best. Everyone loves Piccolo. Piccolo you just got announced for the that. new fighting game. No, you I don't did. know if I don't know if I sent that to you. Yeah. He's a, he's in it now. And he's I, super and you exciting. know how much I like Piccolo. Dude, Dude Piccolo. everyone loves Piccolo. Find me a person who doesn't like Piccolo uh, and I'll it, remove their Piccolo. Who doesn't like Piccolo? Message in the comments. Just just say it. <laughs> just say it. It's all good. Just say it. That, that, just 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 say it. Don't worry, <laughs> we won't judge you. Will. Secretly, you're gonna get swatted. Yeah, bro. Swatting, swatting is a, like it's technically harmless, but it's fucking. I have no disgusting. idea. I'm just agreeing with. Do you know what? I, I feel like maybe. Do you know what wait, swatting wait, 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 wait. is? I might actually know. It just occurred to me. Is that where they do the thing where someone makes a complaint and then like swat members just come in and start like raiding the place? Okay. Somehow yeah, I knew that. Usually, like you make it. Usually, usually, like you make a complaint about an address about someone who's streaming, and then suddenly the SWAT that, team comes up. in on their stream. And a, it ruins the stream. B, it's uh, fucking uh, oh, traumatizing. I, can imagine. I mean, just randomly a whole bunch of dudes just show up and like guns pointed to your face. Oh yeah. Screaming at you with yeah, with guns and shit. Jesus it is. Christmas. It does not sound pleasant. God forbid it happens to me. Oh, but it Lo is. Lo and behold, next week. Randomly, while I'm like doing a thing for the channel, just just mid let's play, you'll you'll start hearing guys being like, "Put your hands on the ground," or like, "Get down on the ground, put your hands on up," or something like that. You know, it's like it's. Oh, come on, man. Did I really need this? Yeah. No. No. Yes. Yes, you did. Just like at the beginning of Persona uh, Five, when you get let's swatted. Let's be honest. That's that's not. That's not swatting, that's just being caught in the action. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's just the police yeah. doing their job. They're trying to rob a casino, bro. <laughs> that's the police. That's the police doing what police do. Out of curiosity, what's your opinion on um, Atlas and the way that they're treating people who put up um Spoil who put up spoiler footage on, on no on idea. Persona 5. I didn't even know that was a thing. Cause they they are um basically if you put up any any spoiler footage of Persona 5 that and they have like a regulation board now for if you're doing footage of Persona 5 where like if you get past a certain point in your let's play they will send really? you a cease and desist and if you don't if you don't listen to them they'll um I can't remember but basically your that's, channel that's stops harsh. existing. You know, it, it's it's a lot like it's a lot like what Nintendo used to do before, like they realized, wow, we're awful. Uh, I was gonna say we I shouldn't have to be doing this. Out a game that I was gonna put up on my channel, and I haven't figured it out yet. Persona Five was on my mind, but uh, now 
I, I, was good. I don't was just do, about don't to do say, Persona I, Five. I don't think I'm going to do Persona dangerous. Five unless like I'm doing mementos or something. I would love, I would love, I would love it if you did Persona Five. Nah, but bro. I'll probably just do Persona too dangerous Four or now. something. Because I know how much you love it. It was right then that Owlflame oh, stopped being friends with Gildum, and the whole channel just went to a complete hold. And that's how I choose to end this part. Jeez. He has 11, 12. Anyways, so uh, now, now that me and Owlflame are no longer friends, I'm going to give him the last, uh, the last word. Uh, um, I, I, uh, Resident Evil 7 was pretty good. Really liked it. 